Hello, I'm Si Yu Jiang. In this video, I'm going to present our contribution to higher education from a learning analytics perspective. In this study, Professor Nicola Nisto, Professor Doreen Stensio, and I explored the theory choice in doctoral educational research. In the academic community of practice, doctoral students are regarded as legitimate peripheral participants. Doctoral citations are very important cultural and conceptual artifacts, which consume doctoral students a lot of time to write and revise under their supervisor's guidance. How to understand the relationship between higher education institution and doctoral dissertation writing? The theory choice in doctoral dissertations might build a bridge to connect these two factors from different levels. As addressing such research question implies the analysis of large data sets, learning analytics is of great help. To explore theory choice in doctoral educational research, we specify two research questions. First, which learning series do doctoral students choose for their educational research? Second, what is the relationship between theory preference and the university's research quality? We conducted an exploratory correlative research design, which included three datasets, U.S. universities, dissertations, and uh, learning series. The diagram shows the procedures of this data collection. The corpus of analysis consists of 878 dissertations from 88 U.S. universities and 141 learning series. For data analysis, we mainly implemented cosine similarity and linear regression for RQ1 and correlational analysis for RQ2. Cosine similarity was used to measure theory preference in a dissertation. It is a type of text similarity techniques from natural language processing. On the right hand is a very simple example about cosine similarity. Text 1 is converted into vector 1, 1, 1, 0, and text 2 is converted into vector 2, 1, 0, 1. Text similarity between them is then indicated by cosine v1 and v2, which is cosine theta, 0 0.5 in this case. By applying cosine similarity, we measure the similarity between learning series, reference term, and dissertations. The higher the similarity score is, the more possible that dissertation mentions that theory. Regarding results on RQ1, we found some theories were preferred over others. From the table, we could see the five most and five least preferred learning series according to their average cosine similarity score across dissertations. On the rightmost column, Google Scholar search keys were provided to indicate theory popularity. Based on linear regression, we found the theory preference across universities was significantly related with the logarithm of GS heats. Regarding the results on RQ2, theory preference in a university for some specialized theories was found to be negatively correlated with Q1 and the top scores at the 0 0.05 significance level. So, in conclusion, we have two main findings in this study. First, doctoral educational researchers prefer popular theories over specialized theories. Secondly, universities with the higher research level choose classic theory, uh, educational theories, whereas universities with the lower research level choose specialized educational theories. These findings raise the discussion, does popularity influence the theory choice, or oppositely, theory choice in doctoral dissertations accounts for the prevalence of some learning series in the academic COP. With respect to RQ2, who defines the mainstream of the learning series? Popular learning series um, are more used in the doctoral dissertations, so it might be the top university that defines the mainstream. However, these findings must be interpreted with caution because of a very small explained variance of the linear regression model and small correlation coefficients. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or comments, please put them under this video. We would be glad to discuss with you.